Welcome back. Uh, today, or in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a PDF slideshow. Or actually, it's just a PDF, and then we're going to make it run as a slideshow here in Adobe Bridge. Uh, this is a typical window for Adobe Bridge. It's basically going to show us all of our folders and files. Um, we have um, different panels. We have metadata, filter, collections. Uh, I have it set up so that I see my content here. So inside this folder called Images Partners, here are all my images. And it gives us these little thumbnail previews of what we have in that folder, which is kind of cool. So I encourage you to use Bridge whenever you can. I know a lot of people don't, but um, a lot of people do. So when we click on these individual images, then we have a little preview window that gives us even a bigger uh, preview. And we can move these panels or these windows to be whatever size we want to. All right, so I'm uh, asking you to create a slideshow of some of your images. Um, and how we're going to do that is there's a couple of ways we can get to that um, output portion. We can go right up here and we'll click on this little arrow and it says output to web or PDF. That's going to change our workspace a little bit. Now we have all of our individual images down here and our preview up here and then we have this new output window where our preview window was and you'll see that it allows us to either create a web gallery or a PDF. Now I'm going to go back to my main window. Um, there's another a way to get to this output and we can go right up here to our this is where all of our workspaces are and if we click on this window we can just pull down to output. Output is where we're going to create these PDFs. Now that we're in this output window, uh, we're going to click on PDF. And you'll see that our window changes and we have different little tool uh, panels in here. So there's several things that we can choose to do. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our images down here in our preview. And these will be the images that you're going to choose. And I'm just command clicking on the ones that I want. And that'll be good for a demonstration. All right. And when we hit on Refresh Preview, we're going to see a document pop up. And here is the way that, this, that we have it all set up now. We have it set up to show my name, the image file name, and then VizCom 201 Electronic Imaging. And we can change all this, all right? And, that, and that's what we do over here. So we have some custom templates that we could choose. First thing I'm going to do is just choose document. And we see that we have page preset. Uh, we can type in width by inches. And I'm asking you to do this um, 8 inches wide by 10. So I'm going to click on my landscape. Maria's is landscape. And we'll change this width to 10 inches by 8 inches. And for our purposes, I think, uh, since I'm going to be viewing this on a computer monitor, I think we can say 72 pixels per inch will be fine. And let's take that quality all the way up. So it's going to be 8 by 10, 70, 72 pixels per inch. Okay. Background is white, that's fine. You could change the background to whatever you want it to. And whenever we make any changes here, we need to hit refresh preview. 
So by clicking on Refresh Preview, it's going to go ahead and apply our uh, orange background, and now it's 8 by 10. I want white. So then when I change white, I need to go up here and Refresh Preview. And I think that's all that we need to do in here. We've got 10 by 8. All right, so we'll close down Document. And then we'll choose Layout. And I've asked you to put one image on each page. So we're going to say I want one column by one row. That'll give us one image, basically. And then you'll have to play around with this rotate for best fit. Sometimes um, it's beneficial and sometimes it isn't. Um, depends on what you're looking for. Okay. And you could mess with these horizontal and vertical settings. I'm going to, um, well, let's just say 0.25. Uh, we could say 0.25 all the way around. And see what that does. We'll just kind of keep this consistent. We'll say refresh preview. And it just makes it a little bit bigger. Okay, layout's done. Overlays. Do we want to show the file name? Okay, so now our file name is gone. Um, I don't think so. We don't have to choose file name. We could. So if I'll leave it up to you. If you want to put the file name in, that's fine. This is where you would do it. And then you could check, uh, click the font that you want to. Uh, we will put, um, how about if we put page number, and we're going to place it on the footer, so it's going to be down here. Turn pay file name off, and I'll say refresh preview, and now we have a page number down here. So that's overlay, header, that's going to be this up here. Let's go ahead and put your name on the header, uh, center it. Uh, you can play around with the font if you want to. Um, we could put in a divider if you wanted to. I'll show you what a divider looks like. So there's a little line going across the top. Change the size of it. And like I said, anytime you make a change, you're going to have to refresh that preview. I'm going to turn divider off. Refresh preview. All right, so header's done. Header is your name. And footer is type that you can put at the bottom and once again I'm going to center it we can turn it on turn it off we can choose the font the size the color we can also once again choose a divider it's going to put a divider above it and let's see this is 201 electronic imaging so we'll go ahead and leave that I don't want to see that Divider, so I'll hit Refresh Preview. That's good on uh, footer. Playback is um, basically telling um, Adobe Acrobat how you want to play this back. So we're going to say Open in Full Screen Mode. Um, we could. We'll see what it looks like. Automatic Advance to the next page. Yes, we're going to leave... Um, Leave each image up for, how about uh, five seconds as we play this slideshow back. Loop after last page, sure. And then we have some different transition. So we're going to set up our playback here. Uh, watermark is, do we want to add a watermark? Let's see what add a watermark does. All right, so add a watermark puts an image right there in the center. We can say, what size do you want? Let's just go up here and we'll just put a copyright. How about that? I'm going to scale it. We're going to turn that opacity down. We'll say refresh preview. So, and let's go ahead and turn that opacity way down so it doesn't really get in the way of our image. 
So if anybody wanted to use this, then it would uh, mess up, you know, the image. And we could type in, how about 400? Can we? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Looks like 240 is as large as we can go on that. I'll let you decide whether or not you want to put a watermark on there. Refresh preview. And we could choose a different color if we wanted to. So we could choose white. So there's what a white watermark looks like. I'm going to turn watermark off. We'll close that down. And the very last thing that you have down here is we're going to view this as a PDF after the save and we'll save it. And I'll save it to my desktop and I'll just say slideshow. Oh, actually we're going to rename this, right? So it'll be uh, 13 uh, for the year, underscore 01 for the month. And then um, 24 for the day, underscore V102, 201, um, EX for exercise, and then slide, show, underscore, Eric, underscore, Lindley. And we're going to put it on the desktop. We'll hit save. The bridge is going to go through, open all those, create our slideshow. And since we said view the PDF after save, this is what we've got. So it's going to stay up there for five seconds. And then it'll transition. And that is our PDF slideshow. So this would be a good way for you to show images to clients if you want to. All right. That's it. You are welcome to build your slideshow in whatever program that you want to. I'm just showing you that right here in Bridge, we have it all in Bridge. And it's um, a very handy way for you to um, exhibit your images, show your images to friends, to clients, or whomever you want to look at your images. So thanks for watching and I'll be back with some more informational tutorials. Thank you.